Interested people watch obsessed people change the world. Kobe Bryant was not interested in winning championships. He was obsessed. If you really have an obsession to figure it out, you will figure it out. Look in the mirror, mother is you versus you. An obsession comes in the small details that nobody pays attention to. Because our obsessions become our possessions. You hear this all the time. Don't sweat the small stuff. The one percenters, the point oh one, they sweat every single detail. I'm obsessed with it. The winter bus. You obsess about most regular that you will eventually possess in your life. You have to be obsessive. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted. You have to be disciplined. The key there is you. Winning requires you to be different, and different scares people. It's never enough. Nothing great is going to come without you having to deal with adversity and pain tolerance. The price you will pay for not winning is infinitely greater than the price you will ever pay to win. It's everything, and it's in the details. If I can do it, why can't they? You got to fight like hell. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, it's the ones that can fight, the ones that come back. Those are the ones that succeed. Those are the icons. Paradise starts in hell. And if you simply go after that thing that you want, you're not born with greatness. You earn greatness. I don't care how you get there. Goals to win. Period. Different scares people. And anytime anybody's told me I'm crazy, I've always thanked them for that because it gave me the ability to see and do things that other people can't do, and acknowledge things that other people won't acknowledge. If you're obsessed. With taking your business, your sport, whatever it is, to another level, stand up. You must be able to deal with pain, and the more understanding you have of what's causing you the pain and how you've dealt with it, is going to determine how successful you will be in whatever you choose in life. It's on you. Your failure and your success is on you. I think the thing that people misunderstand about success is they're looking for the easiest way to get there. Look at the most successful people in the world. They're the most coachable. They have the least amount of doubt. Mm -hmm. They have the least amount of doubt. You usually have doubt because of what somebody else is going to think of you. So people that aren't going to see your vision, people didn't see Jeff Bezos' vision. People right. don't see Elon Musk. People don't see Kobe and Jordan's vision, and that's okay. But you've got to be willing to see it in yourself. Everyone's going to hit adversity. It's how you deal with that adversity, and the key word is you. Not letting somebody else deal with that adversity. You have to deal with that adversity, and how you deal with it. Are you going to fight through it, or are you going to curl up and just roll over in the corner? People talk about this all the time. Losing builds character. How much character do you need? Your dreams and thoughts better be so big that they better scare you. They better scare you because you're not thinking big enough that you don't want it. It has to be something that nobody else has thought about before or done before. The process it takes to be number one and stay at number one—you have no—you have, have no idea. Very few people understand what winning and success does to an individual's mental health. Everybody wants to sit in your seat until they have to sit in your seat. But it takes a special individual, and there's very few people that can do that.
I always say this, the most driven individuals, they live a life for many years and certain times without balance. Everybody strives for balance, balance, balance. And in order to be that obsessed with something over and over again, there is going to be times where things are going to be out of balance. It just is. You can't be the best at something and try to balance everything else around your life. You don't find balance, you create it. And it's different for every individual out there. The balance I've created may be completely different than the balance you, you've, cre you've created. And there's certain times in your life that the scales are definitely going to be weighing towards one side more than the other. In early part of Kobe's, Kobe's career, it was about basketball and winning. About basketball and winning. And towards the end of his career, it became less about winning. It was still about basketball, and it became more on spending time with the family. But you have to surround yourself with people. You have to surround yourself with people, with individuals that would be selfish for you. They understand your obsession. They understand your drive. They understand your attention to detail. Make sure you're all in. Your obligation to yourself to be the best, to achieve the highest level, has to be greater. The pressure you put on yourself has to exceed anybody else's pressure that puts on you. You got to start winning. It's a mindset. Before you have an exceptional skill set, you have to have the right mindset. You have to have a great mindset. The stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. They got to want it. It's what fuels you. What's fueling that desire? Individuals that can control it, harness it, acknowledge it, know how to use it. It takes them to a completely different level. You have to win with all of you. Everybody can handle pressure. You know what? Most people decide not to. But why is it worth it? Because the results are so f***ing good. I have to be at my best to win.